Good evening. It is Tuesday, February 21st, and I'm at home <clears throat> doing another video to share some of uh, my latest vintage finds. Here before me, I picked up down in Olympia, Washington at this antique shop I frequent a beautiful working avocado greenish sunbeam mix master with original uh, owner's manual dated 1957 and I plan on actually using it to turn out things like banana bread and I've never owned a mixer and I'm getting tired of doing stuff by hand and stuff turns out sometimes better when you got a uh, mixer to, you know, get it nice and even. Playing on Uncle Walter's Sears Craftsman Hi-Fi, the great late Uncle Walter as uh, Hi-Fi, uh, is Ethel, Ethel Smith's Cha-Cha album. Absolutely awesome. Um, on to some of the things I picked up. I've really gone bonkers for the green and avocado green of the 60s and 70s and maybe even later 50s. I, I, I don't know exactly when it came in, but I, I love the stuff growing up. My, my folks still had some around and my family members still had some around and I, I, I just love that pukey color. I Last week or so, sometime back, I picked up some kitchen canisters, some Lincoln Beautyware ones. And I have, they were already nice and clean when I got them. And I cleaned them up and I put them in my kitchen on my counter. And I got actually have flour, sugar, coffee, and tea in them. And it's freed up space in my cabinets. Now, to organize my pantry and cupboards and get stuff like rice and beans just, you know, out of their bags from kicking it on the floor of the cabinet, I picked up some horrible, hideous green kitchen canisters. And they're, they're pretty clean. You know, they got some um, scuffs and some cleaning uh, scratches from pads, but actually not, not, not terrible. Um, and, you know, how does stuff turn up in any nicer shape? And they're so clean, too. Very nice, very nice. Can't wait to... Uh, I'm going to put these in... Uh, unfortunately, I can't display them. I mean, I don't have enough counter space, but... Man, flower power, man. <laughs> um, and then, more green stuff. I needed some new pots and cookware. Um, I had a Revereware copper bottom pot from the 50s. I had no idea it was, it was vintage. I just uh, got, me, got it. Someone gave me some housewares. Um, and I, I ruined it. But I picked up some avocado green circa 1970 late 60s maybe I, I don't know how long these ran uh, West Bend love West Bend very nice brand uh, avocado green pots one and a half quart and what two quart or something uh, country in by West Bend two and a half quart and they are in pretty nice shape you know uh, not mint but uh, gently used and there's Nothing on eBay. I bumped into the seller that had these in her space at the antique shop I bought them at, and she noticed the same thing I did. There's nothing on eBay. There's nothing on Craigslist, um, which struck us us both as very bizarre. <laughs> and uh, so cool. Can't wait to uh, get these bad boys cleaned up and cook something. Oh, what next? Uh... Since we're on green, and these will come in handy for whatever, uh, bookends, green, 60s or 70s, horrible green with the full wood grain, ugh, this reminds me of something that would have been around at maybe my uh, dad's photography studio, at my dad's shop, dig them, dig them. Maybe keep some of my uh, 78 RPM record albums up. I don't know. Na, na, na. Uh, back to cookware. 
I needed a pan. I had some Teflon pans and Miro or whatever, and they were both, they're, they're shot. <laughs> and uh, so I picked up this awesome, fun, orange enamel skillet for like eight bucks. And you know, why not use it? Cause I'm very gentle and loving with my stuff, right? Um, it's actually, I think, trickier to cook on these than you'd think. I thought it would be a non-stick wonder, but I tried to do a couple eggs this morning, and ugh, it was a disaster. I, I actually contacted, contacted a professional chef friend of mine about it, and I've, I've yet to hear back from her. I've asked for advice on how to cook with this stuff, but pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, what next? Uh, more housewares and cookswares. No records today, by the way, I must add, right, while I'm thinking about it. Um, no records today. Uh, I looked at records in a lot of the spaces at this antique shop, and I didn't find any. And I didn't feel like going out record hunting at any of the uh, used books and music stores I go to, or anything like that, any Craigslist, no eBay. I don't know. Just uh, I've got my desires for records fulfilled at the moment anyway. Uh, awesome fridge disc, Harvest Gold, um, I forget what collectors call that, but I plan on, you know, it's nice condition, perfect. plan on using it for food and stuff, you know. Uh, and then another one, a blue one, probably out of the 50s, I would think. Na, 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 na. Very nice. I've, I have a butter dish somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, but I don't know. This is pretty nice. I'm tired of just throwing the stick of butter in my fridge. And so I picked up a 70s, 60s Pyrex, uh, milk glassy kind of butter dish tray, you know? So that'll be nice. Uh, and then... I love, I've been sort of collecting whatever Pyrex I like, and I have, this is my fourth divided casserole now, the 50s or 60s blue snowflake, and it's in very nice gently used condition, and so that will go nicely stacked on top of my avocado green crazy daisy and my harvest gold one, and my kind of nebula looking, atomic looking one, and uh, you know, I do plan on using them. I'm, I'm not afraid. And if something happens to it, hell, you know, they're out there. Um, awesome atomic vase. Um, and again, it has what I always mention, that fleck textured um, texture with the gold uh, paint. I... I really wish somebody could tell me what that that gold is but somebody told me it was like 18 or 24 karat gold um it's actually real gold I, I find that really hard to believe but you know hey you know maybe it was a different time so i don't know where i might put this i might kick out another vase i do have a vase that's kind of broken that i got at walmart and i'm getting tired of it and uh I might put, like I have in my room, I have this Fenton or, um, um what's that other, Viking, uh, vase, green glass, and I have, uh, three birds of paradise, uh, faux, fake, you know, silk flowers in there, so I might do the same thing for my living room and put four, and they stick nice here, and then I might cut their, uh, stems to staggered, like, different heights, so... Dig this. Everybody at this antique shop that works there just loves what I pick out. They think I have such great taste and stuff. I'm, I'm just so flattered. And, they have, and, and, you know, they have pretty reasonable prices, too. Here is a Pendleton uh, wool, Pendleton woolen mills from Pendleton, Oregon. They call these shirts Pendletons, I believe, because it's Pendleton brand and it's from Pendleton, Oregon. And this one is a vintage and made in America. It says made in USA. And it's navy and blue and like rust and gray. And uh, the thing I love about these vintage uh, Pendletons is that, uh, you know, higher quality shirts have the buttons colored kind of pearly. Very nice touch and the uh, pocket flaps. And it's just such a nice shirt. Oh man, 
you know, 20 bucks. Heck, you know, shit. You go to Macy's or Nordstrom or something, you pay 80 bucks to, or, or you know, 100 bucks for a shirt, right? Um, this is awesome. Uh, Seattle Times, section C, Sunday, April 8th, 1962. Seattle World's Fair Souvenir Edition. I love the World's Fair stuff. Space Age Frontiers. Please do not open. Wonderful, complete 1962 World's Fair Edition of the Seattle Times. Enjoy. And it's got the monorail on it. And uh, awesome artwork. I love it. Uh, this is really nice, too. Do, do not open. Paper is complete. Fragile. Safe for new owner. Thanks. That would be me. Um... Man, I, I had to grab this while I had it because I have a complete Seattle Post Intelligencer or Seattle PI. By the way, that newspaper is now like defunct as of a few years ago and went down with the whole economic meltdown. Um, so I believe this would be the, if, if I'm not mistaken, the other newspapers newspaper for special feature of World's Fair. Um, the record collector friends will love these. These are like, you know, cardboard records, uh, postcard records, if you can see the record shining. And they're not used in, uh, I don't know whether or not to play them. I mean, uh, I hate to do that, but I want to hear what's on them. This one I think is can be found on YouTube. Um, if you would really like to know and look it up, there it is for you. Um, Ronnie Drapper Draper and the Fortomatics, Summer of 62, that's the International Fountain. Um, this one's for the Space Needle Restaurant, and I'm really hoping this will be, it says vocal, I don't know if it's a song, I think it's, uh, advertisement like I've heard it on the radio here and uh, it's really cool I'll try to get a video of this uh, uploaded once I uh, sometime after I get this one finished uh, almost done and then I picked up a stack of better homes and garden uh, magazines from the late 60s like 68 and 69 oh man absolutely what a what a blast I mean, it's it's just such a trip I mean it wasn't a, a ungodly long ago and gosh where can there are ads in here for things like harvest gold appliances and oh look there they are the um, kitchen canisters love it. Smith, Smith glass, moon and stars, blue, amber, green. Cool. How can I get it to show some? <laughs> you know, appliances, reel to reel. Um, loads of fun. <laughs> Oh, 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 some, uh, looks like some avocado green cook roll, uh, cookware there. Add for Lindsay pitted black olives. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm taking up time. some of these interiors. Oh my goodness. I just can't get it to go the same way I did um, earlier flipping through it. I don't know why. It's driving me nuts. Better stop before... Uh... But, I mean, you can imagine what wondrous fun this would be. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, groovy. Harvest gold and avocado green coffee percolator. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my goodness gracious. Green carpet 
gosh, what was that kind of carpet called? It's not shag, it's some other kind. There we go. Maybe it was this magazine. Harvest gold, faux wood grain. <laughs> Look at these interiors. Love it. <laughs> Look at this room. Green. Look at all that green. Ugh. Oh, dig it. Dig it. <laughs> Flower. Look at this bathroom. Flower power. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, man. What was that? It's a pretty nice interior, too. Gosh, I love it. It's pretty rare to find any houses or uh, places with interiors like that anymore. Every now and then something turns up, but... Anyway... The, oh, wow. yeah, look at this. What is this decorator kit? You don't have to be handy with the brush to spruce up a bath with Lady Scott prints. And the color would satisfy the most persnickety decorator. Venetian pink, Persian blue, emerald green, antique gold. Hmm. Interesting. This is like some kind of like contact paper and paint. Interesting, interesting. Man, fun. What a blast. Look at this. Wood paneling, flowered couch. Wow. Yeah. What is this? Bath towels. Green. Look at that. Green, flowered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that called like the Persian kind of uh, pattern? Wow, dig that. Man. Every single page of these magazines. These are just loads of fun. Hmm. Okay, that's uh, quite enough. Oh, yeah, dig that avocado green fridge. Love it. Folks had one, and we had it in my dad's photography shop growing up. I think it was the fridge they had in their house at one time. All right, I'm done thumbing through these with one hand. I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> they belong to somebody local here in the state, of course. Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think that's it. And Oh, no. Oh, I'm glad I looked behind me. I have these rock art 50s, most likely 50s, uh, comedy and tragedy... Um, pieces of decor. I'll try to get closer in on them. I love these rock art things. They're super atomic, mid-century, and kitschy, <coughs> tacky, awful, gaudy, cheesy, and that's what makes them so cool. <laughs> and I saw these down there, and I... I don't know why I didn't get them. It was some quite some time back, quite a while ago, and uh, I thought maybe they had been sold because I never saw them before, until I I looked hard enough and they turned up. Unless they were this, you know, another set that somebody else brought in, but I highly doubt that. Yeah. And I don't know exactly where I'm going to display these, but I might move some stuff around or. Find some place. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. All right, thanks for watching. I am going to get drinking on the rest of my Chardonnay here and kick back and listen to some music and make good use of these vintage finds. Thanks for watching. <laughs>